Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading here is for July 14th, 2020 and it is for the sign of Scorpio. Um, that being said, it is a general reading so it's not going to resonate with everybody. So please do take what resonates with you, what feels good with you and just leave the rest aside. If however you would like to have a private reading, you have questions that you would like to have answered, you can contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the, um, the information on how to book for a reading. Also, if it's your first time here on my channel or if it's been multiple times and you do enjoy my channel, uh, please do uh, support my channel and encourage me by subscribing to my channel. When you subscribe, I know that you enjoy my channel and that makes me happy and I give you more of these beautiful readings. So that being said, and uh, no further ado, let's begin this reading. This reading here is a general reading. It's a one card like a snapshot, but I really have a lot of information for you. And um, this is all about what am I not seeing, okay? So what am I not seeing career-wise? What am I not seeing relationship-wise? We're going to try and identify this to help you out. So let's begin. I have all of that glitters, okay? All that glitters. All right, so the all that glitter card is um, all about uh, a need to see beyond the superficial. It's the desire to don a mask or dress something up to disguise it and to disguise its true nature, I would say. Um, trying to be something you're not, chasing after every sparkly new thing. Okay, this is what all that glitters is all is all about. Now that being said, uh, you know it's only human to want to adorn oneself, you know, in trinkets and pretty uh, and and paint a pretty picture of oneself. And it's natural to want to acquire, you know, the trappings of a status or to deny them as a statement of rebellion. Okay, um, but if it sparkles, is it better? Whether it's a fast car, a big house, a title, or a position, the stamp of authority, or the sparkling of diamonds, these icons let you know something about a person, a place, or even a thing. Now, do you really think, this is the question, do you really think that they tell you something about these people, the fact that they, you know, that they wear jewelry? The truth is that people seek to acquire things because of what they will do for them and how they symbolically will elevate them and make them more attractive. This card signals that it's time to see beyond the adornments and probe underneath the surface. Learn to recognize the mask that people um, wear and the motives why they're doing it. Okay, imagine all that glitters is not gone. Would you still desire the object or the person? Hmm. That is another question you need to ask yourself. As with relationships, you know, sometimes we try to become something we're not to impress the other person. We embellish a story a little bit, adding some dramatic elements to make us, you know, more appealing. But, you know, the real person becomes hidden behind the sparkle and the shine. And then there are times when we don't see the true value of someone else because he or she may not have all that glitz and glamour that seems oh so desirable. Now is a time to look past the surface, beyond the mask, to the essence of the person. Who that person is, not what okay, he or she has or can give you. See beyond the glitter and look for the inner glow. Use the eyes of your heart, let go of artifice, and let the authenticity shine. Okay? Let the authentic shine. Very, very important. So, um, as for a, a little protection message, I do have to say that there is a signal to walk away uh, from what you're contemplating right now. There's a thin veneer of glitter and sparkle that masks something rotten underneath it. Pursuing it is only going to bring out a difficult situation and you're going to be sorry that you got yourself into it. So please do I, I stay away, okay? Um, better things are going to await you. 
So this does uh, conclude this um, this reading on what are you missing, what are you not seeing. So I do hope that you're going to be able to see beyond the glitter, see behind the mask, to see the true self, to see exactly uh, what this person is, what their motives are, and to truly see their inner selves, how they are. And I hope you're going to do the same thing for yourself too, because you might be wearing some glitter also. So um, on that note, if you would like a personal uh, private reading, romancefultarot at gmail.com. And otherwise, uh, please don't forget to subscribe and we'll be seeing each other very soon for another reading. Have a great day.